some of the research that we've done with young kids, teenagers, and and um, sort of Gen Gen Z, I guess they call them, um, they get upwards of a hundred notifications a day from their phone, and they're spending seven plus hours per day on their phone. So I got sick of it about I think it's about three years now. Three years ago. I was just so sick of the pickups and I had this app that came out that talked about screen time that showed you your pickups per day. And so I said, I'm going to run an experiment because I'd already been doing the show for a couple of years at this point. And I'd gotten comfortable with this idea of having to put it into do not disturb when I do the show. So I said, I was going to run an experiment. I said, I'm going to take two weeks and I'm going to turn off all notifications from my phone, just disable them all. And I'm going to see if if I like it better or not. Very unscientific, very simply subjective. Hey, do I do I like this better or not? Um, they they haven't come back on. Two, two of them have the my wife can break through anything and my calendar, my notifications of when I, when I have my next meeting, and that's it. So I've got calendar, and I want to be interrupted on those two things. Uh, everything else is just gone. And sometimes I look at my phone and I've missed. 30 calls over the past four days or something like that. And I'm like, eh, if it's really important, it gets to me, right? Because I'm still on email and I'm still on, you know, Slack and all of these other forms of communication. And everyone knows that if they, if they really need to get to me, they can just call my wife. And if you don't know my wife, then you don't really need to get to me. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. That's very yep. fun. Well, interestingly enough, the the what what you did was get rid of all the external notifications. What you didn't do is get rid of the internal notifications. Correct. Because you can't. So Correct. what Gloria has found, and what we always found in our research, is that about half of your interruptions are external and half are internal. We don't see what's going on that makes this internal thing ping at us, but we know from the research that it's due to some sort of anxiety. Mm -hmm. Anxiety could be very little, it could be very big, but it pushes you, like I said, it pushes you to grab your phone. So for example, if, you have been, if you're an avid text messenger and you have not checked your text and you've turned off your notifications, say, mm -hmm. and you haven't checked your text in a period of time, your brain is going to tell you, you better check that or I'm going to make your body really nervous and really anxious. I'm going to spew out cortisol at a rapid pace so that your body gets really anxious and probably nervous. And the more anxious and nervous you get, the more you need to distract yourself.